Hello, my name is Luke. I'm hopefully going to be spreading some information on how to uh, get Virtual Drumline working in uh, MuseScore 4, and I will be providing um, the drum set mappings, and um, I'll kind of explain how to use them. So um, the first thing I kind of want to get uh, get started with is if you don't own Virtual Drumline, um, you're probably going to want to click away. Uh, Virtual Drumline is a um, plugin, uh, and it's a big sample library um, that, uh, like, it, you got to pay for it, right? It's $200. Um, if you're just looking to get, like, better drumline sounds for MuseScore for free, um, this is unfortunately not the video. Um, I did add a video um, on my channel that um, can get the old uh, MuseScore drumline sounds onto MuseScore 4, um, just as like a placeholder for the time being. Um, and from what I understand, there is going to be a big drumline update to MuseScore 4 soon. Um, however, I'm kind of out of the loop now, so I have no idea um, when that's coming. So if you're going to spend $200 just to get virtual drumline, um, be my guest, but also like uh, there might be a, if you can afford to wait I would um, yeah but this this is kind of going to be a video for the people who like I'm like I used to use Sibelius um, and I used virtual drumline on Sibelius and then I didn't like it and then MuseScore 4 came out uh, and now I love it uh, now that I can use it so uh, it kind of turned into a passion project real quick so again if you aren't planning on buying it just click away um, anyways uh, let's get back to it um, the first thing you're going to do if you haven't done this already is follow, like you'll get an email with your, um, with your serial number, and then you're going to have to follow these instructions. Um, and I'm not going to go through that here, but I will say that you need contact six. Um, so if you can't find an install of that, uh, I can provide one, just leave a comment, um, contact seven. I think Tapspace uploaded a video on how to get it to work, but for when I tried it, I, I couldn't I couldn't get it to work. And Contact Six just kind of worked perfectly. So um, yeah, that was that was pretty much it. So just follow um, the this is the um, website that they kind of provide um, to get you started. Um, and then once you've completed all the steps, you should be good to go. Cool. Um, so the next thing you're going to do is I left a link to this in the description. It's the first thing that you see on the page. Um, I created a website, um, that has the, uh, map pack that you're going to need. Um, if you want to do it yourself, I can kind of, I'm going to provide a tutorial, uh, on how to map things into, um, into MuseScore anyways. So that'll be coming out soon. But um, for the time being, uh, you probably just want to pick this up. Uh, it's completely free. Um, but if you would like to donate, I would like to point out that um, if you used Finale or Sibelius, you would have to pay $50 for the exact same thing that I'm providing. Um, so if you've got a buck or two to spare, I would really appreciate that you uh, send it to my uh, coffee link. Cool. Um, so anyways, you're just going to click the Google Drive download here and then just download this file. So I'm just going to right click download. Um, it'll always come up as a zip file. That's just kind of how um, that's just kind of how it works. So uh, I'm going to click to open, extract it, show files when complete. And then this is what you're going to use. So um, I'm going to open up File Explorer again. And then this time you're gonna to wanna to go to your documents. You're gonna to go to MuseScore 4. So that's down here for me. Um, and then you're gonna to go to styles. And you may or may not have uh, files in here. If you do, you can just ignore them for now. It's not like that's gonna like affect anything. Uh, all you're gonna do is drop your BDL pack into your styles folder. Uh, and then you can close out of both of those. Um, next thing you're gonna do is open up MuseScore 4. Um, so yeah. Open, make a new score, open a new score. You're gonna have to click on the little common drop down, go to all instruments, and then drop down to marching. Um, and I'm just gonna put all four of the battery instruments in here. Um, and I'm also going to, let me go back to common. Let's, uh, 
let's add a couple drum sets in there and I'm just gonna click done uh, so cool so uh, the first thing that you're gonna want to do is go to your mixer um, and all of the things that you just put in here are going to default to MS basic at least um, in MuseScore version 4.0.2 I think is the one that just came out um, now, if you were to add something like a uh, vibraphone or something, um, that's going to default to the Muse sounds. Uh, if you have uh, Muse sounds installed, I'm not going to go over that in this video, but um, everything else should default to basic. And then what you're going to do is, okay, I got my snare drum. I'm going to hit the drop down, go to VST3, and then you may or may not have other plugins in here um but the one you're going to want to go to is the native instruments and the contact player when you're here you'll see virtual drumline loads up on the side uh, you're just going to click on the little instruments tab here uh, and go back to the first page and click drumline battery double click it uh, click snares and then you can choose either snare line manual or snare line manual light I prefer light just because I can't really hit it, hear a difference um, between the two, and light is a little bit better on your computer resources. So, um, snare line manual light, um, and then yeah, just click out of that, um, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is go into your uh, your note editor, your note input. So I like to use the shortcut N, but it is this little bit button up here. Um, then hit edit drum set load and then you'll see your pack appears right here you're going to double click it go to drumline battery go to uh well i guess you'll see both options here um if you know what you're doing if you know how to uh work with the um work with the MuseScore drum set uh maps then use the battery full but for most people you're just going to want to click on essential um, because it's going to have more than enough uh, things in here um, to get you started. So uh, just click on Snare Drum Essential, open that up, and then uh, you'll see nothing changed. So you're going to have to go out of your note editor and back in, and that'll refresh it. Uh, now you should be able to hear the drumline sounds uh, in here. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then you're just going to repeat the cycle for tenor drums, bass drums, cymbals, um, what have you. When you get to cymbals in the contact player, uh, one thing to look out for is um, you'll have like 16, 18, 20 all. Um, you, you can choose whichever. Um, the map should work the same. The only thing it won't work for, and the only thing any of these maps won't work for, are, is uh, the VDL1. Um, from what I understand, like uh, whenever they had virtual drumline one out it used completely different um completely different maps to like the piano roll um and what i mean is like if i click this little button up here and click keyboard um like this is going to be different than if i chose like that um yeah so you'll see like so the maps are mapped to all of the things on like a piano um so if they're different yeah, you're you're just not gonna hear them in MuseScore. Yeah, so that's pretty much how that works. Um, the other things that you can do is if you have pitched percussion um, and you aren't digging the way that the Muse sounds uh, sound, I guess, because they're really meant for like orchestra and stuff, um, you can click the drop down and you can load contact player into your pitched things um, and just look for um, vibraphones, right? And then You'll have like, oh, you can use different mallets. So uh, if I want to use medium uh, mallets, I'll click on that. Um, there's bowed vibes. There's light versions. I like using the light versions just because they're less laggy. Um, but yeah, you'll, you should have like the full range in here. Um, and it should just work. You should just be able to go put, put in notes, whatever. Um, and then for your unpitched percussion, uh, say I want like a general MIDI... Uh, kit I have um, let me actually open contact first so uh, under the VST3 contact there we go um, you'll see 
that if I go under combination instruments, I'll have a general MIDI drum set in here, right? And so this is just like if you uh, were to play like drum set on like a electronic keyboard, um, that should work the same. Um, what you'll, it should work just like with the drum set sound that's in here, but I did provide in the, um, uh, the VDL pack, the combination combination instruments folder and general MIDI set is under there. So when I refresh this, you should have like every single note value that is in the contact player itself. Um, and then I did that with the other combination instruments you probably saw. So let's look at some of those. Um, say I want, um, say I want like rack combo a, which is like kind of like a, like a marching band or like an indoor, um, rack setup, click OK, refresh that. You'll see I have a couple things coming up, but I still have the MS Basic sounds on there, so they're kind of poopy. Um, let me go to the contact and then go down to rack combo A. And now you should have the right sounds in here, right? Cool. So you can play around with that. You can use it in Muse Score. That's pretty much all there is to it um if you've got any questions just drop them down below youtube isn't a full-time job for me or anything but if i uh see something that i know the answer to um i'll do my best to uh help you out so um yeah so hopefully that um that that works out hopefully uh you learned something today so okay bye